Hello, welcome back to the channel. This is my low EP925 power supply unit, 25 amp constant, 30, 30 amp peak. And uh, if you've been following the channel and you, you, you know me, you'll have realized that I've gone from my foundation level license to my intermediate, which means I've gone from 25 watts up to 100 watts. Now this should be perfectly capable of handling uh, 100 watts, um, but it has highlighted some issues. Uh, when I started using 100 watts. At first I thought it might be uh, common mode or RFI causing problems, but it turns out that this is the problem. Now, this has been a part several times in the past. Um, people have had a look at it for me, I've had a look myself. There is an intermittent fault in this somewhere. It caused the radio to trip out when you're trying to use 100 watts. And uh, I thought, right, that's a project to see if we can take it apart and really get deep down into it. But for now, I've actually ordered myself a new power supply unit and that has arrived today so let's have a quick look at it i won't show you that Here we have it. It's the Samlex. Um, it's the SEC one two three five P M. Now the previous amplifier was a linear amplifier, and this is a switch mode amplifier. Yeah, I was a bit wary about going for switch mode, but these have got very very good reviews. If you don't know the difference, basically a linear amplifier. The huge thing over there is uh, weighs about six kilos, um, and it's quite quiet in terms of the noise that it creates. Switch uh, power supply units are sometimes, if they're not very good ones, quite noisy and cause problems when transmitting and that sort of stuff. But uh, this one's got very good reviews. It also weighs probably about a kilo, kilo and a half, much lighter than the old linear amplifier. Let's have a look what we've got in the box. These are the posts, which will go onto the end of my power lead, which I have here. They're not ring terminals on this, you'll see in a moment. We have the, huh, I may need an adapter, or I just use the other power lead that I've got upstairs already. Uh, manual, and this is the gubbins, this is the Samlex SEC1235P-M, as you can see it's fairly simple, it's a fixed voltage power supply unit, 13.4 volts, uh, simple on off switch here. Power supply goes in here, a fan, which has, I'm, I'm reliably informed uh, doesn't come on that often and when it does it's still fairly quiet and these are your two 13.8 uh, volts posts, which of course these will go into. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to crimp and solder those onto my power lead and uh, we'll get it in the shack and give it a try. Right, let's get these leads sorted out then. So let's take these old ring terminals off first. Ooh. I need a new pair of snips, these are awful. Let's strip these, what we're looking at here, let's get the posts out. There are two spare grub screws in here. Uh, these are for holding these pins into place in the power supply unit itself, so I want to make sure I keep hold of those. And also keep hold of that Allen key. Add it to my collection of Allen keys that I get with everything. And what we're we looking at. Do -do, about there. I do want to tin these before I actually uh, crimp them in and solder them in perfectly. So. If you've not used this stuff, this is tip tinner for your soldering iron. Keeps it nice and healthy. If you go onto the uh, Heardar's website, I'll put a link in the bottom. There's a really good uh, presentation about soldering, which may help you. If you're just getting into soldering. Okay, 
right, a little bit of flux on these. I needed some more flux. I do have a little syringe of flux somewhere, but I can't find it right now, so I'm just using the horrible old stuff. I know it's tempting, but never blow. Oh look, I've just put a hole in my uh, cloth there. That's why I have a cloth there. Clean your soldering iron, tip tin out. Clean the soldering iron again. Super. It's good enough to me. Right, crimp. Oh, let's not forget, I'm going to put some heat shrink on this. Let's do that first. Insert and grip. Excellent. Next one. Yeah, it's good and solid, I like that. Right, let's get a little bit of solder into these. And then shrink that glue lined heat shrink and I think we are ready to go. I realized that was probably off camera, so let's just move this here. And you see that point when the solder starts to flow. And we're done. I'm just going to let those cool a little bit and put that glue lined heat shrink over them and uh, we're good to go. Right, I suppose the next stage then is just to uh, get it upstairs and get it plugged in. See you shortly. Right, so here we are. This thing is all set up and connected to the radio. And there you go, you see the radio is running. Uh, we're in the shack. We've got the uh, the uh, Yeso FTDX 10 screen there, this is OBS which I'll be recording on, and the Station Master Pro software, and my other screen. And yeah, we're all set up, so uh, let's uh, switch over to OBS and we'll give it a go and just make sure that it's working properly and I can get the full 100 watts. Thank you, 73, another station. 2 Echo 0, Kilo Hotel Charlie. 2 Echo 0, Kilo Hotel Charlie, very good evening. I tell you, you're either part in the next over, Roger. Yep, thank you, Marek. You are 5959 five, nine into the north of England this evening, and I'm just testing a new power supply unit over. Okay, Mr. Matt, uh, nice to hear you for the first time. You're 5959 59 class in the northeast part of Italy. I tell you also my working conditions. I'm using here one element homemade delta lope for 15 and uh, 20 meters, beaming to east and west. And uh, But I copy you very, very well. 5959 59 class. Uh, without any problem, uh, Roger. Yeah, thank you very much, Derek. And uh, working conditions here are Yesu FT DX10, 100 watts into a multiband end fed half wave. And uh, pleasure to get in the log for the first time with my new call sign. I may have spoken to you before on the old call sign, over. QSL, thank you for any information. 500 watts from my side and Fox Tango 891 also from Yesu. Thank you so much. Have a nice evening and uh, 73. In the uniform, 4 Fox Kilo Charlie, 2 Echo Zero Kilo Hotel Charlie. All the best and thank you very much, 73. 73, bye bye.